I was actually doing a lot of different research on different indigenous studies programs. I was kind of like, do I want to go back to get another degree in another university, be taught indigenous studies by mostly non-indigenous professors? And I just wasn't ready to kind of do that. My family aren't really cultural in, in a sense, so I feel really connected in that way by learning here because they do have programs that help you with learning more culture and bringing the language back to our people. From the very beginning, we always talked about having our own university and being able to do language programming. I think that it's a great step in the right direction because you can learn a lot here and you can really move forward in a career. I thought that it would be much more meaningful and beneficial to learn from our people here at Six Nations about our people. The Knowledge Guardians are truly our archives, our living archives. And so they come to us once a month at least. They have a lunch and they talk to each other, but they also work with us. We ask questions. Sometimes I can even add to the things that they talk about, even though it's old. And I think the younger generation is going to learn from all, all this because they're always questioning. And I'm always getting calls at home, like, what do you do for this? Like, how do you say this? Well, I believe our language and culture, most importantly, is very um, crucial to who we are as a people, our ceremonies, our way of life, our philosophy even. So all that has to be done within the language. It's kind of like I have to learn the language in order to carry on our way of life. One of the initial goals with Polytechnic in the bachelor program was to get the graduates to come back and be instructors. I was approached after I finished the degree to teach a course. And then they asked me to come back and do part two. Now at Six Nations Polytechnic, we offer what we call lifelong learning, a range of lifelong learning. So our purpose as an institution is to serve all of our people. It's, um, it's not just limited to language specifics. So we needed more space to be able to do things like trades training. And then the other piece that came along was the STEAM Academy because our students were not having the success that they could have had in the public school system. I've been struggling for so long trying to make ends meet and this is why I decided to go into the trades. The third pillar is a complementary pillar to the colleges and universities and uh, we see ourselves as meeting needs of our learners and our communities and our territories that maybe cannot be met by the other pillars. I was in college and I never really felt comfortable I guess, never really felt myself. But then when I came back home to school here, I just felt normal. I had never welded before coming to this program. It has been a great opportunity to learn. It gave me an opportunity that I wouldn't have otherwise. Six Nations Polytechnic offers a really great learning experience. The instructors are extremely generous with their time and everyone is here to really create an experience that allows students to learn at their own pace. My choice, my path.